Hey, what's going on there, YouTube? It's Charles here from Charles's World, coming at you with my very first Lego Room tour um, slash update. I've been talking about it in other videos. You're kind of looking at my collection of Lego books, um, the Star Wars book, and then the two books I just talked about in my last video. And that pile of books is actually my tripod for all my other videos. I got some Hot Wheels and some other stuff. Not a lot of Lego on this table. This is where I do my filming at and some of my building. Um, moving over here, I got my first shelf. Um, I got some of my sets up there. This is a lot of Marvel stuff. Um, some of the new Avengers. Um, the Hydra vehicle. I have my Mixels there in the background. Um, the Hulkbuster. And then up here is... Um, basically, if it will focus, there we go, the Joker, Steamroller, um, Captain America, and then Deep Sea Manager, and then some more figures, and then we have the Riddler car, and then we have our Captain America. Realize Captain America is outplaced there, since it's all DC, but it's the best place I could find for him. Up here is most of my Batman stuff, I got my Batmobile, the Bat... Um, a little boat there, the bat sub, and then the bat copter, and then a bunch of minifigures. Below there are my two minifigure display cases, one Simpsons, and then the next one series 12. Trying to find some affordable cases like this for my um, other minifigures, which you can see are here on the table. There's... Um, Simpsons Series 2, there's Series 13. There's some more stuff that needs to be put on shelves. But as you'll see as we go through these, I'm running out of room. Um, down here is some more sets that need to be stored as well. Um, down here on the floor, um, I have some cases where I store Lego at temporarily until I find a better system. Um... And then I have some of that. And then right here is where I store a lot more of my bigger pieces that I'm working on for mocks. Um, over here are some just random bags. This right here is the Santa's Workshop set. Um, there's the train station set. Um, there's a bag of random pieces and parts I need to sort through. Um, there are, I'm not sure why I'm saving those. Um, but those are all the minifigure bags. And then here is my recent haul from, um, Big B. I put all his pieces I got from him in there. That's all the sports arena stuff. Um, and here I stole this idea from another YouTuber, but this is where I put all my instruction booklets. Um, as you can see, there's Lego DC, Lego Movies. Um, and then back here, I also keep all my series, little pieces of paper, um, so that's kind of cool. I have my invoices and stuff in there as well. Um, and then over here is all of my, um, Lego movie sets with the Benny Spaceship, of course. Um, and then up top here, ignore the codes is all my boxes, my loot crate boxes, things like that. Um, over there, non-Lego, but it's um, my comic book collection, my fish. Yes, I do try to play golf as I move around the room here. Here are some more sets that need to be, that are kind of just hanging out here. Yeah, that's a Milano. Um, that's a mixture of superhero sets, realize if you're Marvel, DC, when them all together, they're kind of intermixed. And then over here are two more of shelves. Um, these are some more DC figures and sets. And then up there is a mixture of both. Um, so that's kind of it as I scroll around here. That's a lanyard collection from all the conferences I attend. Here are all the loot crate buttons I talk about. Um... So, and I have some more Lego in the hallway, um, and those are where all of my, um, 
those are where all of my um, micro builds are at for Star Wars. I'll put a picture of that in the end of this video. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. It's definitely a work in progress. As you can see, I, I'm running out of room here. Um, but we'll see what we can do to make some more room and, and put some more stuff up on display. Until the next video, guys, take care and thanks for watching.